Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. Lately, Task Manager has been affected a lot from the updates of Windows 11. In this video, we will review some of these changes that is affecting Task Manager. I use Task Manager a lot and it really means a lot to have a task manager that is useful for my daily work as a system administrator. Now, in order to open task manager, it's pretty easy. You just go at search and you just type here task manager. Once you see the app task manager, you click on it in order to open. And now let's see what is changed. So first of all, you will see that the design is different comparing with the task manager that we had a couple of months ago. The main change is regarding the search options here. So practically we can type the name of a program or publisher or a process ID to search. Let's suppose, for example, that I want to see all the processes that are running, which are related with Microsoft Teams. And here we are, we can see that the app that it's running is this one, Microsoft Teams, and the processes related with it are those here. You can do the same for any kind of application that you want to see a filtered information. So for example, Google Chrome, it's occupying around 0.3% of the CPU, but it's occupying a lot from my memory, which is in this case 4000 megabytes. Now, the next thing that is changed is that you can see that now the performance, app history, startup apps, users, etc., etc., are on the left, and you can just click over each one of them and you can see the information that you need. Of course, you should remove the filters so, in this way, nothing. It's filtered also on the startup apps or for users or whatsoever. Now, the startup apps work in the same way. So you can just enable or disable the startup apps by going over startup apps options here and services. It remains the same, but just the design is different in case that you want to run or to stop. For example, I want to stop any desk. You select the any desk and then you click over stop here. So it's a little bit different. The options now are showing at the top on the right. You can click over restart and this process of any desk will restart or whatever task that you want to do for them. You can also just start a service that is already not running. So let's suppose this one, we can see that now the start option is activated. So let's activate or let's start this service. So those are some of the changes that are affecting the processes and the services. It's mainly related with the design. And now the next option is regarding efficiency mode. So now we can go over processes and over here we can put on the efficiency mode one process that is running. So let's suppose any desk, I want to put it on efficiency mode and it will pop up this window, which will tell you, do you want to turn efficiency mode? Efficiency mode will lower process priority and improve power efficiency, but may cause instability for certain processes. Do you want to continue? Yes. And here we are now, any desk will show with this sign or this green leaves, which means that any desk is on the efficiency mode. If you want to take it out, you click with the right of the mouse over the process, and then you unselect efficiency mode. Now the next change is related with the settings. So from the options on the left, we click over settings and now we have the possibility to change the application theme of task manager. If you want to have it light, you choose a light option. If you want to have it dark, you choose a dark option and the task manager will be on a different theme comparing with your Windows 11 PC. If you want to use the system settings, you just choose system settings and also you can choose over here the default start page. So I'm going to choose the performance, for example, and once I'm going to close it and let's see what it will show me as a default start page. So here we are now it's showing as a default start page, the performance of my PC. Let's go back once again to settings and there are also some other changes you can see the real-time update speed or whatsoever you have the possibility to use the window management and other options which you can use over here so there are many changes that is affecting task manager in general i think that now task manager is a more useful application gives you the chance to use it more often task manager that's all that it's related with the latest update that is affecting Task Manager. And I really wanted to share with you guys. I hope you start using 
those new functions or new options that Task Manager is offering to you. Thanks a lot for watching and please consider subscribing to our channel. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.